Welcome to Calibre. I am Kovit Goyal, the creator of Calibre, and in this video I will give you a brief tour of its major features. Calibre was designed to make managing your ebook collection as easy as possible. It can manage books, magazines, newspapers, comics, what have you. The first time you start Calibre, you will be greeted by the Calibre Welcome Wizard. Start by telling Calibre where you would like it to store your books. Every time you add a book to Calibre, it will be stored in the folder you choose here. If you do not like the default selection, you can change it by clicking the Change button. The next step is to tell Calibre what ebook device you have. As you can see, Calibre supports uh, devices from all the major manufacturers, for example, the Amazon Kindles, the Android phone and tablet, the iPhone, the iPad, the Barnes & Noble Nook, Sony readers, and so on. If the device that you possess is not on this list, choose one of the generic devices and most probably Calibre will work with your, well with your device regardless. That's it. You have now finished configuring Calibre and are ready to start using it to manage your collection. This is the main Calibre interface. Here you can add books to Calibre. You can edit the metadata, which means changing the title, authors, covers, etc. You can convert them from one ebook format to another. Calibre supports all the major ebook formats. If you want to read a book on your computer, you can do so with Calibre's built in viewer, which again supports all the ebook formats. You can ask Calibre to go out on the net and download news from websites like the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, etc., and convert it into an ebook, which you can read on your reader. Finally, if you're looking to buy an ebook, Calibre has a useful feature called Get Books which allows you to enter the title and author of the book you're looking for, and Calibre will go out and search all the booksellers' websites to find the lowest priced edition for you. You probably already have a few ebooks on your computer. You can add them to Calibre by clicking the Add Books button. Here I'm going to add just a single ebook, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. As you can see, once Calibre adds it to its library, Calibre reads the metadata from the file. That's its title, its author, its cover, some tags, and so on. Now, it often happens that the metadata included in ebooks is either incorrect, incomplete, or not to your taste. If that is the case, you can change the metadata in Calibre by clicking the Edit Metadata button. Here, as you can see, you can change uh, the title, the authors, put it in a series, and so on. I'm going to set the rating of this book to four stars out of five and change the tags to just England classic and romance click OK and you see that the metadata has changed accordingly there's a rating there's tags and so on if you have a lot of books, as I do here, entering the metadata by hand can quickly become a drag. Calibre can go out onto the internet and download metadata for you. To do this, click the Edit Metadata button as before. Instead of entering the metadata by hand, click the Download Metadata button. Calibre will connect to various uh, book, book sites such as Google Books, Amazon.com, Overdrive, and so on. It will try to find the metadata for your book based on its title and author. As you can see here, it has found a list of matches. Uh, choose the match that seems the most relevant to your book. As you can see, Calibre has found the author, the translator, uh, a rating, some tags, as well as uh, the, the blurb of the book. Click Next, and Calibre will go out and download a cover for you. As you can see, it has found a cover from Amazon, one from Overdrive, and this is the current cover of the book. I think I like the Amazon cover the best, so I shall choose it and click OK. As you can see, Calibre has uh, populated all the metadata fields, the blurb, a rating, some tags, and so on, as well as the cover, of course. When you connect your ebook reader to the computer, Calibre detects it and brings up a little icon on the toolbar to represent the connected device. In this case, I've connected a Kindle to my computer. By clicking on the icon, you can see the list of books on the device. As you can see here, I'm a big Asimov fan. I have a lot of Asimovs on my Kindle. Coming back to the main Calibre library view, if you want to send a book in your, in your Calibre library to the device, all you need to do is drag and drop the book from your library onto the device icon, like this. Now, in this case, the book in my library is in a format that the Kindle does not understand. Fortunately, Calibre knows this and will ask you if you want to convert the book automatically before sending it to you to the device. Just click Yes and Calibre will do all that's needed. It will convert the book automatically and send it. 
clicking the rotating spinner in the bottom right corner shows you what Calibre is doing currently. So right now it's converting the book Sense and Sensibility. And once the conversion is completed, it will send the book to the Kindle. There you see the conversion is completed. It is sending the book to the Kindle. Um, notice that in the main Calibre library view, there's a column called On Device. There are little green check marks next to the books that are both in your Calibre library and on the device. So as you can see, Sense and Sensibility is, uh, has been sent to the Kindle. By clicking on the device, you can see the device view. And if you want to add some book from your device to the Calibre library, just right click on the book and select Add Books to Library. Calibre will automatically transfer the book from your device to the library. And now you can see that this book is both in the Calibre library and on the device. In this way, you can see that Calibre makes it really easy to get books from the net, convert them to the appropriate format automatically, and send them to your ebook uh, reader to read at your convenience. Another very popular feature of Calibre is the news download. Calibre can connect you with uh, popular news websites such as the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, Harper's Magazine, The Economist, etc. Uh, and download the news from these websites in a format that can be read conveniently on your ebook reader device. Uh, to use this feature, click the Fetch News button. As you can see, there's a list of the various news sources in Calibre. There are over 900 news sources in dozens of different languages from all corners of the world. So, for example, uh, English news sources, you can see there are over 300 of them from all over. Let's try to download The Economist as an example. You can Put the name of the news uh, news source in the search bar and Calibre will find it. Here you can see that you can schedule the download of The Economist to happen any day of the week or the day of the month or whatever. For the moment let's just download it now. Now the typical news download takes about five minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection. So let's look at a previously downloaded Economist while we wait for the download to complete. Remember that Calibre has a built-in viewer. You can use that to view The Economist. Here we see the downloaded Economist. On the left is a table of contents, and here we have the actual magazine. Uh, you can see that this is a very convenient way to browse your Economist. You can look at any particular article, go to it, and scroll through it. So we've seen that the download news feature allows Calibre to get get news from all over the world and convert it into an ebook format that you can read on your device. Now let me show you a few ways that you can use Calibre to browse your large collection of books. The first way is, but, is to browse it by covers. You can open the cover browser in Calibre by clicking the Browse Covers button down here at the bottom right of the interface. As you can see, this brings up a view of the books in your library by cover. You can scroll through this view. And this is particularly useful if you believe in judging a book by its cover. Another way to to browse through your collection is by using the tag browser, which is this area on the left of the screen. Here you can browse your collection by authors, series, formats, publishers, ratings, tags, etc. So for example, if I was in the mood to read books by Kafka, I can just click on his name and the list of books is restricted to those by Kafka. Similarly, if I was in the mood to read adventure stories, I could go to tags and click on Adventure, and there you see the list of books is restricted to adventure books that are present in my Calibre library. In this way, Calibre helps you to find just the right book that you're in the mood to read at just the right time. Once you've identified a set of books that you're in the mood to read, you can double-click on the book details area on the right, and a larger window pops up showing you all the details of each book. You can click Next to browse through the set until you find the perfect book for your present mood. The last feature I will be showing you today is Get Books. This is a feature where if you type in the title and author of a book, Calibre will go out and search all the ebook sellers' websites to find the lowest priced edition for you. To use this feature, click the Get Books button on the toolbar. So for example, I'm going to type in Heroes by Abercrombie, which is a recent release. Uh, when you click search, Calibre will go out and search the various booksellers' websites like Amazon, ebooks.com, Barnes & Noble, and so on, and get you a list of matches sorted by price. Now, as you can see, that in the case of this book, all the U.S. booksellers are selling, in the, selling it for $12, but there's a, la there's a large 
a variety of prices available from UK web uh, booksellers from 25 pounds by foils to eight pounds from Waterstones. So if you're planning to buy the book in the UK, Calibur just saved you a dozen pounds. Not only that, Calibur also shows you the DRM status of the books, which is whether they are in digitally encrypted or not. And if you just click on any of these matches, Calibur will open up the website of the ebook seller in a browser for your convenience, as you can see here. That was the Calibre Grand Tour. If you're still listening, thank you for your patience. It's now time you go and start using Calibre.